So the news is coming hard down on T Grizzly. It's the only thing I don't like about Fox Two. I seen T do a couple little good things for Detroit. Never seen him really post that. Well, no, I think they did post him when he ran it out the theater for all the kids to see Black Panther. That was real commendable too. But at a time like this, for the headline to be rapper's new music video on murder of Aunt Sparks, call to end violence. I mean. Do we really want to put this particular song on a pedestal? He drops a lot of other different music. But not to get on the case of T, I mean, this whole song is just pretty much him incriminating himself saying, what are you going to do? Like, if any of these guys come up missing and they're connected to the murder, then the first people that will come looking for is T because he already talked about it in the song. Then T would be the first person they go and grab. But... With that being said, check out this news clip and let me know what you think. Well, a new music video by Detroit rapper T Grizzly reveals he fears for his own life after the murder of his aunt last month. But there's talk of a bounty on the head of her killer and it seems to promote a vicious cycle. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper is live tonight with the call of an activist to end the violence. Rudy, explain. And Carolyn, there are strong emotions in this song by the Billboard artist. For the first time, he's expressing his feelings, even rapping, he fears for his own life. In his newly released video, Detroit artist T Grizzly shares an emotional tribute to his aunt and roadside manager who was murdered in Detroit. Action News at the scene near Three Mile and Mack Avenue a month ago where shots rang out. You lost your aunt. Let's not lose another family member. Let's not lose you. Dr. Kim Logan Nolan, a family counselor, reacting tonight to the rapper's lyrics, which seemingly encourages violence, including a bounty on the head of his aunt's killer. Rudy, we want to redirect the anger, redirect the pain. Dr. Logan Nolan says she's had firsthand experience de-escalating gun violence in the hip-hop community. I had opportunity to counsel a young rapper, and um, he lost a loved one through gunfire. And I said, what would bring honor to your loved one? Let's redirect the lyrics to something positive and productive. I got an idea of what we need to do. While declining to speak specifically about the artist, Zeet, a local activist with New Era Detroit, says they are pushing forward to end the cycle of gun violence, starting with children. The kids is, is the future. Everything that we do has to be um, directed towards the youth. He says it starts with education, providing resources, and preventative interventions. What are things that we can do to prevent these things and get in the minds of these people earlier on? And, and that's really where our attention and energy needs to be. You can certainly feel the heartbreak and rage in those lyrics. We reached out to T Grizzly's team and we have not heard back tonight. A spokesperson with Detroit police told me a short time ago that this is an active and open investigation. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Live in Detroit, I'm Rudy